Howdy y'all, it's me, Round the Wheel. Almost three years ago, almost three years ago to the day as a matter of fact, I got on here and said that I was no longer going to be playing video games for whatever YouTube audience would watch, that it was no longer a profitable use of my time, and that I was going to go off and do some other things. Um, among them, helping my son get set up with streaming and going back to school to get my teaching certification. One of those things panned out, the other did not. The one that did not was, was my son's streaming. He just never could get into a place where he wanted to do that. Uh, and that's okay. He was a teenager anyway. Teenagers are very capricious. They have flights of fancy. Um, it's totally fine. But the teaching thing did pan out. And it panned out so well, as a matter of fact. Uh, I got my master's degree in just two years, where it took me 13 to get my bachelor's degree. It only took me two to get my master's degree. So I suddenly had the study discipline that I had to cultivate from the ground up, finally in a developed enough form to get out of grad school with a 4.0 GPA. And I did that, I got my master's degree, a few weeks later I got hired on at a district. And all, all was well. And I'm about to wrap up that first year of teaching. And you know, you hear a lot of, horror stories about the American public school system, but my experience has gone quite swimmingly. Uh, I was, I was quite correct in my own assessment of myself that it, that it is a, it is a field that my particular temperament is well suited to. And I have found some pretty great success with it, even in my first year. And so it has kind of changed my outlook on certain things, my Weltanschauung, if you will. So I'm approaching the end of that first year, and I find myself now with all this time on my hands, and I'm not in a place where I feel like I have to grind, for lack of a better word, content out anymore. I hate calling stuff like this content. Um, it's creative. It's creative output. Uh, not to put too fine a point on it, but it's art. Uh, things like this should not be called content. People work very hard on these things. They are artists and they deserve to be called that. But I have a more sanguine outlook on the whole playing video games in front of an audience now. Yes, I've got my writing itch still. That hasn't gone away. I'm still doing Deep Space Spines. I'm still doing Blocker Trap. When I can, you know, because, I mean, I'm a high school English teacher. I have a full-time job. Um, time for hobbies is hard to come by, but very soon I will have a lot of time for such hobbies. And I'm now in a place where I don't really need to... I don't really have some kind of deep urge that needs satisfying. I don't have any reason for going out and doing this, except that I want to. Uh, I want to come back. The itch is there, and I just want to do what I can, you know, as I'm able to. I've never been one to be interested in churning out grist for the content mill. So... I'm just going to I'm just going to do things as I feel like them and we're going to we're going to kick off here. We're going to kick off with the summer of Roundy. Uh, I am going to come back on a provisional basis during the summers. I am a, an English teacher. It didn't sound like it from that last sentence, but I am an English teacher. I work 9 months a year. I'm off for Two to three. It's closer to two than three. Okay, maybe I work ten months a year. 
Whatever, the fact is I have an extended sabbatical coming from school. The yearly summer vacation, the vaunted summer vacation, as it were. And so, on a provisional basis, I feel like doing YouTube during the summers again. I'm not much of a traveler. I'm a, I'm a stay-at-home kind of guy. So, so, why not? I mean, why not come back? Why not come back? Why not raise the curtain back up? Not with Mario 3. This is just something I use to illustrate a point. But, um, but yeah, why not, why not come back and do the thing? Uh, I have a little more, as I said, of a sanguine outlook about it now. I, I, can, I am in a space where I can do this for, for the sake of it. For my own pleasure. And, you know, there are always people that come back. There are always people that come back when I come back during these times. Uh, welcome back. We're going to play some stuff. We're going to have a good old time. But we are going to do things a little differently. I am going to lean a little more on occasion into the round the wheel aspect of things. Um, I'll show you what I mean here. So about two years ago, I created the Wheel of Games. I whipped up this that you see before you now. And I did it for a couple of reasons. Uh, one was that I wanted a gimmick for Twitch. I was going to try to do Twitch, and I wanted to have something a little fun that I thought would be engaging to whoever was watching. Um, Twitch was not very successful. I do not really have it in me to do Twitch. It is not who I am, I don't think. And I also did not have the time to give it that it needs. I didn't have the time that you really need to give a Twitch channel to give it a proper head of momentum, get a good head of steam built up and, you know, really take off with it. I didn't have the ability to do that. So that ended up being kind of a bust. But the other reason I made the Wheel of Games was because I was starting to get overwhelmed by choice. I was starting to get paralyzed by choice. I have many games on Steam I would love to play. I have many other games on many other consoles. And when it came time to go choose one to play, I would not be able to choose one. And I, what happened was I would end up playing nothing. And that's not ideal. There are a lot of video games that I would like to get through in my short time on this planet. And... It is not due to not be able to choose one. And so it occurred to me one day, why not take it why not take the decision out of my hands? And why not leave it up to, you know, fate, chaos, kismet, whatever you want to call it. And thus the Wheel of Games was born. Um, anyone who watched me on Twitch saw me use it a few times. Uh, I have gotten great use out of it privately. Uh, many of the games that I played as a result of spinning the wheel, I ended up writing about on blockertrap.com. Uh, if you've got some time, you can go sit on the toilet, uh, read a couple of, you know, pages about games that I wrote about or whatever. But I think it would be fun, you know. I've never been much of a self-marketer, never really been good at gimmickry. But I think, you know, as long as I'm parked on this round the wheel name you know why not use it to some creative end why not actually go round the wheel of games as it says up in the corner there so i figure for whatever game i play first on here in in you know this comeback here don't call it a comeback you know why don't we just leave it up to the wheel there are games i want to play over the summer uh, there are some games I want to revisit that I've played before uh, because they're coming up on major anniversaries and I think it would be cool to revisit them to sort of pay homage, you know, to those things. But for this first one, why not just leave it up to pure chaos? So as you can see, I've got the list over on the right. The wheel currently comprises 122 entries. Um, and I'll just kind of go down the list here. You'll see there are some specific games on here. There are games, there are genres, there are companies, there are broad criteria for what I should play, and there are very specific criteria sometimes for what I should play. 
So a real, a real, uh, a real smattering of categories here. So, but yeah, that's that's how the wheel goes. There are some specific games on here. There are some very, very granular, very specific things on here, and there are some very vague things on here. So I'm going to shuffle the wheel up nice and good. Give it a few good shuffles, and then I'm going to spin the wheel. And maybe it will land on a specific game. And I'll go play that game when the time comes. And that's, you know, something for you to look forward to specifically. Otherwise, if I spin a genre or a or a criterion or something, then, then you'll just have to see what I choose based on that criteria or that genre. So let's just spin the wheel. You got to get it all the way around. Or it doesn't count and you have to spin again. So let's go ahead and... A Super Nintendo puzzle game. Well, that certainly is up my alley. I think that's something I could go with. Well, the game is afoot then. I think I will... I think I'll think on it. Figure out what to play. And that's what we'll come back with. Um, you know here at Round the Wheel Industries, uh, which is firing up the factory once more. So, I'll see you guys probably around Memorial Day, because my school year ends in about three weeks. So, I will see you guys come Memorial Day. We'll, we'll go ahead. We'll do it up with, we'll do it up with Bells on. May 27th is when the comeback shall begin. But until then, I'll just leave you waiting with bated breath. Bye now.